Hello, hello folks. My name is Raida Boost and once again I'm here to show you some installation magic about Autodesk software. This time it will be AutoCAD 2019 that came out in March 2018. And the main reason to make those videos is to show and check what has changed when compared to previous versions, perhaps what new or changed options you may have, but also to give some basics for new users. So, let's start. First of all, you can actually download AutoCAD installation files from several locations. And it also depends if you are already a subscriber to Autodesk or previous user or a new user. I usually recommend to download all needed files from Autodesk website directly. And it really doesn't matter if you want to test the product or you are previous user. Currently I'm on autodesk.com website and if I want to go directly to AutoCAD sub page I can click on all products or I can just add AutoCAD in addition. I hit enter and I'm straight away on AutoCAD sub page. From here I can read of course some additional information about features, comparisons as such but I also have a button free trial. So let's concentrate on that. If I do that free trial, I can hit download free trial. But before I do that, I can also scroll down and I can see system requirements about operating system and hardware specifics. So it's good to read those before you actually start testing or installation. You also see one important change that came out with AutoCAD 2019. Basically it means that with AutoCAD you now get also all those verticals like AutoCAD Architecture, AutoCAD Electrical, Map 3D, Mechanical, AutoCAD MEP and some other AutoCAD versions. Not all of those, but quite many are included. For example, AutoCAD Civil 3D is still a separate AutoCAD option. So I click on download free trial and then I can select which product I would like to try. At current moment I want to try out AutoCAD. So I select this, I hit next. I can see several options, what platforms are available like Windows 32 and 64. Trial file size is about 6 gigabytes. And uh, yeah, I can quickly continue by clicking next again. Then I can select how I will use or test the software. So I have individual and business user and student or teacher. I select individual because uh, I will be testing this software anyway, so it doesn't really matter. 30 days are free to go. Then I can select operating system, Windows 64 bit in my case and also choose your language is English. I hit next again. I now need to log in to my Autodesk account. No worries, if you haven't used Autodesk software before, you can create a free account at any time, for example clicking create account. But if you already have an account, you can simply log in. You simply need to have an account so that you let Autodesk know that you have tested this product. So I hit next and then also a password and sign in. I can then type additional information about company name, also state and country. I hit next again. And now one important selection that you can actually make from this screen. If you click on this begin download, you will be starting to download some lighter version of installation files. And during installation, you actually start downloading more files. So it means that actually your installation might be lasting longer and it depends on your internet connection. So my personal preference and also recommendation is that I usually download all needed files to my local or external hard drive and then I can fire up the installation at any time. I can do that by clicking on Use Download Manager. So I do a left click. In a short moment, I can then download Autodesk Download Manager. It's a special plugin that helps more quickly to download installation files. So I download it into my computer, usually using desktop, save. Once it is downloaded, 
I can fire it up doing a left click or going to my desktop and doing a double click. You can also see a notification because I have actually downloaded it already. So that my download request is already queued. I hit OK and you can actually see that uh, in my previous session I have downloaded already AutoCAD 2019 installation files. But if you haven't, you can just select where you want to download those. Remember to have enough space, usually the amount as was shown before. And I simply close this dialog. I also close my browser because I don't need it anymore. And then I can concentrate into my download folder. So I open up my Windows Explorer and navigate to the location to where I actually downloaded those files. I can then open it up and I need to double click on setup.exe. So double clicking. I confirm that I really want to launch it. So yes. And then my setup is initialized. Once that is done, I can also check system requirements again. I can also get important information about installation itself. I can click on install tools and utilities doing a left click. If I want to install some additional components into my machine, right now I don't want to install those, so I go back and I click on main install button, doing a left click. Then I can see a license screen, so I need to understand the license and then confirming it by selecting I accept. I hit next again and now I can see different products that are included with my AutoCAD 2019 installation. So first of all, depending on what products I have already installed into my machine, you may see a yellow notification. This usually tells you that you already have some AutoCAD based and belonging to the same platform as 2019 in your machine. So some AutoCAD based software is already installed. About Autodesk Recap, that is for reality capture and working with point cloud, you can see that it tells me that I do have a previous version. So basically it means that I can't have two versions of Recap. I need to uninstall the previous one. But with AutoCAD, I can actually have different versions in my machine, like AutoCAD 2019, maybe AutoCAD 2017, as such. This recap photo is included with recap, so it will be installed as well. But you can also just do a left click on AutoCAD 2019 and see what other options you have to select or deselect while installing AutoCAD 2019 into your machine. So for example, installation type is currently typical. It means that basically all needed and important components are already selected. But if you want to tune those, you can hit custom and then you can deselect some components that you really don't want to. In this video, I don't bother about those. Especially, I usually recommend that Express tools are installed at any case. So I use typical again. So Express tools can be selected also from here. I also want to have a desktop shortcut onto my desktop so that I can easily launch it, for example, for the first time. I can then do a left click again to close this screen. I can also select or deselect those additional products, components, like removing recap right now and also recap photo right now. So including only Autodesk AutoCAD. If I want to install those additional products at any time later, then I can run this setup.exe again. So as easy as that. So I leave only AutoCAD 2019 selected. I can then select installation path. Usually I keep it as my C drive and program files Autodesk. I can also see how much disk space do I need. Please note that you may already have some AutoCAD 2019 components in your machine, then this number may vary quite a lot depending on your installation situation. It is currently quite small because I do have some components from previous installations already. No worries about this number. I just hit install to start installation. I can then see that 
different components will be installed with my AutoCAD that are needed. I can also see that how many components do I need to install and once this number is zero, I should get an extra screen that tells me, okay, your installation was successful or it wasn't. But if it wasn't, then you should also see some notification, perhaps an error message or something else that tells you why it wasn't successful. And you can easily Google those error messages and start to install it again. Right now I see green marks. I can also see a blue notification that my help system for this product is actually web-based and if I want to I can download an offline version and everything is queued right now so I can click on launch now or I can simply close this dialog. Please also note that if you updated your Autodesk desktop app that helps to download updates and additional plugins, additions, add-ons. So if you updated also this plugin, you may need to restart your system as well. Currently, I'm just hitting this red cross and I can see that AutoCAD 2019 English version is available in my machine. And what else we can do? Of course, we want to fire it up for the first time. So I do a double click on AutoCAD 2019 and it will launch my AutoCAD. If you have some other AutoCAD versions in your machine, you can migrate settings from those previous versions, but you can do that at any time. So meaning that I can skip this step and assume that it was my only AutoCAD in this machine. In this case, I don't see this screen as well, so I just hit cancel. I also may get a extra screen that enables me to select do I want to use this latest version to open my DWG files. Currently, because I plan to test this product, I don't want to do that, so I do not associate, but it's up to you. And uh, if you select that you want to use it, no worries. You can always go back to your previous application. And now my AutoCAD 2019 is launching. I then get a next screen that enables to activate my AutoCAD. So I need to select uh, do I want to use it as a single user or multi-user. But as I said before, currently I'm interested about uh, trial. And because trial lasts for 30 days, I can activate my license at any time. Of course, once those 30 days are over, I can only activate and then use it again. Other options are not available. So start the trial. I then may need to log in to my Autodesk account. We used same username and password before we started the download, so I do it once again. Sign in. I have an extra screen that tells me I do have 30 days to the end of my trial, but I can also see that same number in my top right corner, 30 days. If I have a license or I have subscribed already, I can activate my license from this screen as well. Currently, I close it and I can come back to this screen at any time, just clicking on this 30 days icon. And I can select again, already have a license and start activation process. I close it once again. If you are a new user to AutoCAD, then uh, Please do pay attention that actually currently I'm having already a new drawing opened. But if I'm a new user, then perhaps I actually want to learn something about how to use this product. So I do close my drawing. I can easily do that by clicking on this cross mark. And then I'm at my start screen. And from this start screen, I can switch between two screens. One is create. I can start new drawing, but if I want to learn, I can just click on learn or I can left click also on this left side, learn. And from here, I can see what's new in this version, different videos. I can also see getting started videos. So I have different options how I can start using or learning the product. I can go back to create a screen and from here I can select again, start drawing to create something new. So AutoCAD helps to design also in 3D and the easiest way to make those changes 
in your toolset is by selecting this wheel and selecting, for example, in between drafting and annotations that usually is for 2D design. And by selecting 3D modeling, I can see 3D toolset. So that was about installing AutoCAD 2019 into your machine and fire up for the first time. If you found this video somehow useful, please do subscribe to my channel and hope to see you next time.